customers. And so we want to um, uh, learn a little bit more about what, what's going on with Florida Homestead Check. Um, I've done a lot of these vendor interviews over the time. Uh, we've talked to many different people, uh, a mailbox installer, uh, a water softener installer, inspectors, lenders. Uh, this is certainly a unique opportunity for me to talk with somebody who can provide a great benefit to the community and uh, for realtors, something uh, new and different that they can offer to their customers. We'll probably focus more on how it can help you as a homeowner or home buyer, uh, but it's a Florida Homestead Check. You guys can check it out after we're done here. Uh, but first I wanna introduce uh, Adam, let him tell us a little bit about what he does. And then we've got a couple questions about Florida Homestead Check. So Adam, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. Sorry if I keep looking away. I'm trying to adjust something on my computer screen here. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Hey, that's the beauty of Zoom and live that's it. video. And we just, <laughs> you know, just, just see what happens. We just go it's all live. It. It's yeah. no editing here. There's, it's all live, you know. Um, <laughs> I, I'm live in our home studio. Uh, uh, you can see my uh, beverage bar in the background. Is that your, is that your kitchen? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's I love awesome. It. So that's the one spot in the house that I like to show off. The rest is a mess. <laughs> so everything's a mess. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you know, you just—it's all about image. You just keep it, keep it tight right here in this right sp in one spot. But uh, exactly. Uh, anyway, I, I've uh, been a realtor for many, many years, and uh, the question about homestead and portability and save our homes and and all these other things keep popping up and. Um, I think we've all probably heard the term homestead if you live in Florida. Uh, you know, we've got no taxes, no state taxes in Florida. You've got all these benefits about living here. And one of them is this thing that we call homestead and the homestead exemption. Um, we're going to talk about that, but we're going to go a lot deeper into it. Um, and if you're watching on, uh, on, on Facebook and you want to... Um, uh, you know, pop in and maybe ask a question or something. Uh, I, you know, see if you can message me and we'll try, we'll try to get to it, but otherwise yeah. I'll follow up later. Um, sure. But anyway, tell us to start out, what is homestead? When we hear that term homestead, what do you think, Adam? Right. So homestead is, a, it's an exemption that comes off of your taxable value or your assessed value in the tax roll. And it's the amount of $50,000. And so that will save you, depending on what part of the state you're in, um, anywhere from $600 a year to, you know, maybe $1,200 a year. Um, you know, the highest portion of our state is 2.7% in millage rate, which I don't want to get too geeky with it, but that's what they, that's what they base your taxes on. Um, and I think the lowest I've seen is right around 0.9%. But, right. um, and so what they do is they, they multiply your, you know, your assessed value times that amount, and that's how they come up with your taxes. So the homestead is, uh, is ex essentially the saves our, save our homes ex exemption, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it does two things, well, three things really, is it gives you the $50,000 taxable um, break or break off your taxable value. Um, it hold your assessed value down each year to where it can't raise more than 3% or CPI, whichever is less. Um, we've been going by CPI for probably the last decade. Uh, it's been roughly around 1.8%. Just now this year, it raised up to 2.3%, if I'm not mistaken. So um, that holds your assessed value down, and that's what you really get taxed off of. A lot of people's misconception is that you're taxed off your market value, and that's not the case. You're taxed off your assessed value, so that home exemption holds you down. Um, another great um, purpose for it, or you know, use out of it, is it protects you if, for some reason, you are ever caught in a lawsuit or bankruptcy. They cannot take your homesteaded property, and it protects right. you against that. So th those are some great uses for it. Um, and as we get further along in this conversation, I'll definitely explain to you some other good uses we have too. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, uh, and, and the one thing that people maybe don't know, um, is that you do have to file 
for Homestead. Yes. Okay. To yes. kind of back up, and we do talk about this. And Homestead is, uh, you know, the property in which you principally reside and intend to permanently remain. So that's a, a basic definition of it. Exactly. So you gotta, you, know, you gotta, you can only do it on one property. Um, yeah. And you have to have the intent to live there. You can't live in New York and say I'm homesteading this thing in Florida. Okay. Exactly. So, yeah, right. Sim simple so stuff it's 183 like days of the year you must reside in that home. Yep. Um, so, but, and then you have to file and, you know, filing for homesteads a yep. pretty easy process. It can even be done online. Um, sure. It has to be done um, uh, by March of the year after you buy the home. So we don't exactly. need to get into all that kind of stuff. That's sure. pretty simple. But, um, one of the big things that we want to get into, and, and I'll let you really dig into this, um, and I could follow up with some questions, sure. is, is the portability and the exemption. Okay, okay. so um, those are all part of the Save Our Homes law that went into effect many years ago. Exactly. Um, and um, what your business does is uh, Florida Homestead Check, I think I've got that right. Yeah, uh, that's right. Is, um, is you help to maximize those exemptions and especially that portability. Exactly. Uh, and you can take us through kind of how you do that and um, timing and, you know, sure. just go ahead. I'll let you take a little time. Sure. So to quickly run against uh, over the homestead exemption as well, as um, like you said, it's a very easy, um, it's a very easy thing to file for yourself. The problem is, is a lot of new homeowners or homeowners that come from out of state aren't used to this. And what normally haps, happens in real estate transactions, I'm sure you can um, agree with, is, you know, we go through the closing, the buyer and seller have sold, or I mean, signed a bunch of paperwork at this point in time. We get to the closing and now in the last five minutes, um, they wanna mention, hey, there's a homestead exemption that you guys should file for and you have until March 1st of the following year to file for that. Um, you're going to get your deed in about six weeks. Go ahead and get your address changed. And they go through the whole, the whole, uh, the spiel of it. Right. The problem is, is at that point in time, you know, there are, everybody's like, Oh, give me the keys. I'm ready to yeah. go. Happy. Gotta, clapping, me. Yeah. I have everything else going. So right. we're finding that about 30% of homeowners actually never file for their homestead exemption. Wow. Okay. So there it's, it's a, it's basically they're missing that point. They may not be listening exactly or, you know, maybe they just get busy with life and forget about it. That's right, just right. What happens, right? So that's that's number one. Um, but now once you filed for your homestead, everything's in place, you're living in your home, you've been there, you know, for years. What's happening is when you start when you buy your home, your assessed value and your market value start out the same. Okay. So easy numbers. Let's just say you bought your home for a hundred thousand dollars. It, they usually started out at roughly 80 to 85% of what you bought it for because they 15% for cost of sale. Okay. So let's just say your assessed values and your market value start at 85,000. Okay. Over the years, your homestead exemption holds down that $85,000 assessed value, but that market value grows exponentially. Right. It right. Grow as fast as our natural market, but it does grow. So now let's say you've been in this home for 10 years. Your assessed value now through the years is raised to, I don't know, $110,000, okay? Mm -hmm. But your market value has set, say it got, has gone up to $250,000. You're about to sell your home for $450,000 because the market has just blown up around you. Our town or St. John's County and Duval have been getting a lot of action as far as the incoming, um, you know, residents and the property values going up. Okay, right. so let's said your assessed value is at 110 mm -hmm. your value is at 250 right you now have hundred and forty thousand dollars mm -hmm. to take you to your next home it's the difference between your market value and your assessed value that is what portability is great and you so say take steady, just to, to take sorry to interrupt you so you say sure take to your next home and that's where a lot of people i think get caught up and that's exactly what you're going to go through now is yeah it is what that means to take hundred and forty thousand dollars with me so that's good yes so what it is is it, it is a it's a value for you to take with you but you don't instantly get a hundred and forty thousand dollars cash to take with you mm -hmm. what it does is when you go buy your next home in here in florida instead of your home exemption being fifty thousand it will now be a hundred and ninety thousand because mm -hmm. you're adding the hundred and forty thousand value to the fifty thousand dollar homestead 
exemption that you generally get. Um, again, if you go by our median average here in the state of Florida, which is 2%, that $140,000 in value will save you $2,800 a year in taxes. Right. Wow. Every single year for the rest of the time you own that home. Right. Um, the great thing about this is portability's max value is 500000 So now let's say you take 140 from one house to another. Then five years down the road, you sell that second home. You can add to that 140000 and bring, so let's say 250000 now. You keep adding until you get to $500,000. Right. Um, and, and Kate, or unless you go through something like you said earlier, you go down in value, you split the ratio. But that's more Got confusing. It. We can talk about that yeah. later on. And, and a lot of people are still, uh, oh, I, ah, let me back up, but I could see how this was done really to encourage people to stay within Florida and exactly. buy more expensive homes without that's having right. that major hit to their taxes. That's it. Well, um, what it was... What was, what was going on is back in 2007 when portability was introduced, a lot of the elderly were basically being priced out of their homes and they didn't think they could go buy another home or, you know, and, and, and situations like that. So they put this in place to help people out that you could transition to another home and keep your tax value or your taxable value as low as possible so that you could still afford it. But back in 07, as you know, like our markets were starting to take a real hit. So there wasn't a lot there to take. And another big thing was the state is very generous. Florida is the most generous is when it comes to tax laws here um, in, our, in, in the United States, we're the most generous state. But there wasn't a lot of education with the process. They put it out there to help you guys and help us homeowners, but they didn't have a lot of education of explaining it to you. So no, so for the longest time, it basically just went un, unattended to. It right. just there, and um, and and then as our market started to grow and and rebound and everything else, now the portability became much more lucrative and um, and much more uh, beneficial. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. That that helps me a lot to really get an idea of how so I can take that one hundred and forty thousand mm -hmm. and effectively reduce the assessed value of that home that I just purchased. Exactly. The, kind of the end game of that scenario that you did. Yeah. Okay. So just to quickly, you know, if, if, you really, if you really think about it in the situation that we just talked about, um, where you were bringing $140,000 with you and portability, and then you can add the 50,000 to it. So essentially $190,000 you're gonna have in homestead savings. So let's just say you went and bought a $500,000 house. They're gonna first assess your value roughly around 425,000. You're gonna subtract 190,000 and you'll pay taxes on basically 235,000. Got it, okay. And that's how that works. And yep. that's how it's designed to help you. So you might have been leaving a $230,000 house thinking I can't afford this house. The taxes are gonna be astronomical. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. But you take all this value with you now, and you're basically going to be take or paying taxes on the same amount or less than what you actually were paying. Right. This is great. This is great. Now, you guys um, understand these laws, and now you know. Kind sure. of quick disclaimer: I'm not a tax attorney. You're yeah. not a tax attorney. No, I'm not. Right? Yeah. I'm not a tax accountant. You're not a tax accountant. Yeah. But all no. all we're doing is reading the laws and sure. trying to see how we as consumers. Um, sure. can, can take advantage of them. Certainly yep. getting into more intricate pieces with a lawyer or an accountant is sure. recommended, uh, but, but uh, we're going to kind of dig into it a little bit more. So you've got some examples that you can sure. show yep. us about how this might work. Um, mm -hmm. And then we'll go to, you know, who really should be using your tools? Sure. Well, before I do this, I also oh, want, sure. if we're talking to consumers, yep. um, so the way I look at it is, when a consumer goes into a real estate transaction, they're looking at us as the realtors mm -hmm. uh, to look out for them. And they're also maybe looking at some title agents to look out for them and maybe the lenders, right? Well, realtors, we're told not to talk about taxes. We are, right. like you said, we're not tax professionals. We don't, we're not supposed to overstep our boundaries or, or, and, and really know a lot about this. 
So we don't wanna dip our toe into water we shouldn't get, be getting into. Um, now title agents are, are told the same thing, but even to a stricter level, they are really not supposed to talk about taxes. Right. So as a, we, I look at the consumer almost as a vulnerable party in the sense of they think that we're both supposed to be looking out for them, but if we're not really supposed to get into the taxes, that part actually goes unattended until we came along. Right. And now we have a whole group of trained professionals who we call counselors to help out with that, that process. So we want to take that, that um, responsibility right. of helping people out. And, and, that's what we, and that's why we designed what we did. Um, and so realtors like yourself can say, hey, I'm not a tax professional, but these guys are the best, best people to help you. Now, right. if there was another company like us called ABC or XYZ, I don't care who you use, just right. help as many people as possible. Right, right. Yeah, now we are the only company that does it. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, be the source of the source kind of thing. And not exactly. The actual data. We just want to let you know that we're here to help. That's it. Good. Good. Um, okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this screen for you. And okay. um, so what I do as a realtor, Got it. Thank day, you. Um, what I do as a realtor every day is I look through um, what is the hot sheet on our MLS, what properties are coming about, and um, I just come on the market. And then I try to go and I compare them again against their property tax roll, which I'm going to show you to see how much of a, a difference in market value there is or how much could be changed, right? So this first property that I'm going to pull up um, just came or just came on the market. It's listed, if you see here, at 685000 okay? So my first step is what I do is I go to our property appraiser site. Okay, here in St. John's County, it's sjcpa.us. Okay. And this anyone is an accessible site. Anyone can go here. Right? Anyone can go here. This is general, general public knowledge. Anyone can go here. So what I do is I go to property records. And then it gives me the search bar, right? So I'll go in here and I'll search out the property. I've already pulled this one up, so I'm going to go over here. Um, so this particular property we're talking about, 321 Old Plantation, again, is listed at 685000 Right now, their market value in the tax roll is 532000 if wow. you see here. Okay. Their portability right now is 176000 In St. John's County, it's listed as total deferred. So okay. if anyone here is looking in the tax roll in St. John's County. That's what you want to look at. And that's what portability is. Okay. Um, don't get me wrong. $176,000 is amazing to take with you from one property or another. Um, again, we are the most generous state that there is when it comes to property tax law. Um, but with this, what we, what our, what our company would do is we would actually raise this market value up to the contract price, minus 15% for the cost of sale. Our new market value in there would be $582,250 instead of 532. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add $50,000 in portability. So instead of 176,000, it's gonna be roughly 226,000 that they're gonna bring with them and add to their normal $50,000 homestead exemption. Right. So, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, so so 50,000, so you're saving someone, what, maybe 400 bucks there easily? Well, is that the number? So or? here, um, this one here is at 139, uh, or 1.39% millage rate. Right. If anyone wants to look at their millage rate, they can look right here mm -hmm. and on what their millage rate, what they're paying taxes on. And, uh, just so we know, so 50,000 is, that's roughly $697 on taxes every single year. That's great. So a little over $50 a month in mortgage. What I like to look at it as because of my years in sales and um, working in a commission only structure, I look at $50 a month as, um, as like, you know, my gas or, my, um, or, you know, part of my water bill. That's how I look at savings 
in, in every avenue. Right, um, right. I think it's like I said, it's from the years of being in commission. I was in medical sales prior to this. Right. So I, I equate everything to what bill it's going to save me. Oh, right. it's going to save me on my insurance bill. That's going to save me. And that's the way I look at savings. Yeah. Yeah. And as a realtor, I like to look at how much more home can you buy for 50 bucks. Exactly. So yep. Maybe exactly. It, maybe it's another five grand or so that you can buy the house. It makes a difference, some upgrades, that kind of thing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so the next property that I chose to show you guys is, um, is this one here is 533 Turnberry Lane. It's listed right now at 599. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the tax roll on that one, actually, I, I just did that, didn't I? Sorry, I just exited that out. So I'll, I'll pull it up real quick and I'll show you guys how to look through the tax roll. Go. So I will just pick the back up. And so their market value right now is 371,000. Mm -hmm. They already have 103,000 in portability. But again, we're gonna move this market value up. And I wanna reiterate, market value is not what you pay taxes on. You can adjust this at any time if you'd like, and it will not raise your taxes. Your taxes are based upon your assessed value. And again, your assessed values are held down by the Save Our Homes Act. So if you ever wanted to change this value, then you will not, you will not have to pay more taxes because of it. There's no harm to you. Um, again, though, we're gonna take this 371, we're gonna raise it up to 599, or as close as we can get to get there take out the 15% for cost of sale, our new value will be $509,150. So we're wow. gonna add to that $137,000 in portability. Wow. So instead of 203, or I mean 103,000, it's gonna be 240,000 in portability. And that's amazing. Normal 50,000 now will be $290,000 in homestead exemption on your next house. At a 2% average of where we are statewide, 240,000 or 290,000 will save you just shy of $6,000 a year on property taxes. That's incredible. And that's every single year for the rest of the time you own that home. Right. Um, now, we've been looking at $500,000 houses, $600,000 houses, but I know that's not attainable for everybody, which is fine. Most of, our, most of our sales come between the 250 and the 350 range, uh, if not 400. That's where a lot of our real, real estate sales come from. And, you know, that's, that's our normal Americans, you know, living day-to-day -day life. Not everyone can have a $600,000 home. But, you know, so let's look at this one here. It's 249000 The In the tax roll, their market value is $144,000. They already have 37,000 in portability, but we're gonna raise this up again from 144 up to the 249 or 239 minus the 15% for cost of sale. Their new market value will be 211,650. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna add to that $67,000 in portability. Great. So if you think about this, this home, with their percentage of of 1.423, their tax roll, their tax bill last year was uh, was fifteen hundred dollars. Yep. Our adjustment, based upon the state average, will save them roughly twelve hundred dollars a year. So we're going to save them almost the whole amount that they were paying in taxes. Right. On their so, so if, this, if this person buys a home twice as expensive, they'll pay about the same taxes as they might've been on the home that they just sold. Yeah. So realistically, yes. If they bought again, a $500,000 or if they went up to 450, mm -hmm. be double about what their price is right now. They're going to take, um, what, uh, a little over a hundred or right, a little over a hundred thousand with them in portability plus the, Plus the 150 or plus the 50 that's there. Right, right. So they're going to, they're, they're, um, they'll save them. They'll save them about 1200 or so. Or yeah. So their assessed value is. will right. be, um, $232,000. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. yes, yeah, so they'll, they'll basically be paying the same amount of taxes as what they were paying almost. Right, right. 
Sure. Yeah. And it's not, it's or saving that much, I should say, saving that much, I should right. say. And, it, and so it, in, in some ways, maybe it makes a, a bigger difference on these uh, homes uh, at this price point because your tax value yeah. is smaller. Um, it is. And, and you know, a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars in portability, you know, will save you roughly 14 or I mean, 1500 to $2,000 a year at this millage rate. And you really think about that. That's a hundred and almost $120 a month in mortgage. Right. So you think about what someone that is living in a, in a app, like this is myself, this is where my home's priced at, right? Another $120 a month is, is great. Yep. You know, that can help out with your kid's daycare. That helps out with, um, you know, like I say, your gas for the month when you're commuting. That help, it, it helps tremendously. Uh, and not to mention, like you said, it helps you maybe afford something a little bit more expensive. You know, right now with the millage, millage rate so great, I mean, the um, interest rate so great right now, I mean, that 200 or uh, that $120 a month could maybe get you another $50,000 a house, $40,000 a house. Right. So um, it can mean a lot. It really can. Um, I also wanted to show you just for, um, if you have any consumers in this price range or, or whatnot, um, this is what I call a bonus, a bonus find. So these, these houses that are above a million, like I said, our camera systems and our property appraisers will stop pooling so many comps. And so there will be a huge value adjustment in the market value, sorry, in the market value scenario. So on this particular house, it's listed at 1.25 million. These guys have been in this home a long time, almost 20 years, but their, um, their new tax or their tax roll, their market value is 418,000. Wow. They only have $18,000 in portability right now. With our adjustment, we will bring them up to the max value of $500,000 in portability. Right. So they just went from 18,000 in portability to 500,000 in portability. Wow. And that's and, a factor of being in the home for that long and seeing that appreciation in market value. Exactly. Exactly. And granted, I, a lot of theirs is in the land, but mm -hmm. value is value and it raised either way. And, um, and like I said, I mean, at our average, our state average, that 500,000 could save you essentially $10,000 a year in property taxes. Yeah, that's huge. Wow. I've, I've got some, some checking to do uh, on, on this yeah. stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, and, and that's kind of why I told you um, before when we talked, that's why I got into this. Um, I, I don't know if I, I'm stepping out of, the, out of context here, but I mean, that's why I got into this was, you know, I, I was a realtor. You know, the owner of this company pulled me in and said, hey, I, wanna, I want you to help me with something. I want you to be a sales associate. He kind of yeah. explained it. I said, yeah, maybe there's a value. And he said, let me thoroughly explain this to you. And he told me, and I was like, I had an epiphany of like, oh my gosh, as a homeowner, how do I not know this? As a realtor, how do I not know this? And then how many customers have I, have I harmed or not helped because of this? Right. And I came to realize that it really wasn't my fault. It was a general knowledge of people not really understanding how this can help you. And that's where we're at right now. It's more of educating everyone of, how, how we can help, how you can help yourselves. And that's what our company is about. It's all about helping. Um, when I got into this company, I was having the best year I ever had in, as a realtor. Um, and I stepped away to say, I want to help people. That's why I wanted to do this. And, and um, we can't do anything without the realtors or the title agents or, you know, to try to educate everyone on it. And so now it's just a group effort to see what we can do. Absolutely. And I, and I applaud you for, for doing that. And I can see the huge benefit. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, you know, as we go through, um, and good, you pulled up your website. Um, mm -hmm. As we go through the process, you're going to have people that are getting ready to sell their home. And you've obviously sure. got people who are looking to buy a home. So let's talk about each of those scenarios, maybe the seller first about when should you be looking at this kind of stuff? So, okay. So ideally, Oh, in a perfect world, um, you want, if, if you know you're going to sell next year, you probably want to go ahead and adjust your value, mm -hmm. right? Okay. 
um, give yourself plenty of time to do Adjust so. Adjust that market value. That Adjust that market value about. to make sure that you're taking as much portability with you as possible. Um, but not everyone knows that. Not everyone can plan that far ahead. Right. You take a new job, uh, something happens in your family, something else happens where you just have to move a lot quicker or a lot sooner than what you thought. So you don't always know this. Um, you know, hopefully we get to a point where this is more common knowledge. And when a realtor uh, maybe takes your listing, like you guys are gonna do, I know, um, now you're gonna utilize our program and where you're talking to your um, sellers and say, hey, listen, this is a program we use to help you save as much money as possible. I think we need to go ahead and get you a homestead check and get this process started. Um, that's gonna be huge. Um, and it, and that's, a, that's huge kudos to you and your company for seeing that value and starting to do this for your customers. So, um, you know, I appreciate that. Um, and then, so then you wanna go ahead and start the process as quickly as possible. Nine times out of 10, this will not be handled before you close, okay? But our company, when you do our homestead check, you're gonna get a report. And in that report is gonna be what we call a low market value addendum. And in that, that low market value addendum allows us to work on your behalf after the closing. So it won't hold up a closing. It doesn't hold up anything. And we work on this for you afterwards. So until, or from January 1 until recently, we've basically been getting all these addendums signed. And right now our counselors are hard at work trying to fix these values. Um, because what we have going on is you want, you're gonna to have to either request an informal hearing or go to a VAB hearing, which is a value adjustment board. Um, those happen uh, in September and October, really, uh, late September and on through October. Um, and you actually only have until St. John's County, we're at September 8th right now. So St. John's County, you only have until September 8th to request a VAB hearing. So if you're someone right now that it's at home and you're thinking about selling this year before the end of Dece or before the, you know, December 31st, you're going to want to go onto our website and get an analysis. Okay. What that now analysis entails is a full report of how to fix this issue. Um, what exactly you're going to need. It gives you the forms you're going to need, who you need to talk to. Um, what it also gives you is a one-on-one -on -one consultation with our property tax professional someone that can walk you through the process and explain everything to you thoroughly. Um, online, this is $175, but you give us a call, give yourself a call because you guys are signed up with our system and we'll go ahead and get you a $50 discount so that you can go ahead and get ahead of that. But like I said, I just have a friend that's gonna sell his house now. And I told him to get on this because if you don't adjust it in that VAB hearing, and then you come November and you decide to sell your home and somebody comes in really fast and says, I want to close by December 15th. You can't adjust your market value and you'll lose that. You'll lose that um, additional potential. Portability. That potential so. for the additional portability. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you want it, you want, that's of utmost importance right now. Um, but for the sellers, that's something we look at as low market value. First thing, right. Um, second thing is, so I'm gonna pop back to these tax rolls. So you see this person had a low market value, but here's the other thing. Uh, they bought this house, we'll go to this one. They bought this house in 2013. Mm -hmm. What people don't realize with this homestead and portability law, if you sell your, ho your home in one year, you have until the end of the next calendar year to establish a new homestead, okay? So let's say this person bought in 2013 and, or sold their, uh, their last house in 2013 and bought this one in 2013, but had no idea what portability was. That portability value is still sitting on their old house waiting for them. It's just, it just sits there and wait until you go back and claim it. Right. Um, if you're a seller though, and you're selling this, this, this property and you, go, you don't go back and claim that portability and you sell this home, you will lose all that portability that was accrued. Right. It will be gone forever. So our system looks at that and it tries to pull up any missed portability that you may have left. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, we ask you a bunch of questions that, you know, roughly if you piggyback off of other ones, there's roughly around 19, some, 
in some instances, it can get to 25 different homestead exemptions. Wow. Most people think there's just one or you, you have, you know, you think of the blind and the widow and, you know, some of these other smaller exemptions you hear about all the time, but you have exemptions for military. If you're deployed any amount of time one year, you're exempt from that amount of time of your property taxes the following year. So if you have someone that was deployed for eight months last year, they're exempt from eight months of their taxes this year. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Um, you have the senior exemption where you're 65 or older, you make less than 30,000 a year. Um, that's another $50,000 homestead exemption. So our system goes back and tries to find all of these. Mm -hmm. So again, that's good for sellers. Um, you want to find all of these things prior to selling a home. Uh, the buyer side of it, you may have a brand new buyer that doesn't understand homestead laws. Um, they're going to get a, almost too much information from our company. We're going to give you so much information that uh, you're really, you're probably could go educate some people on Florida homestead laws. Um, it, it's something there to, uh, uh, it's something there to um, make sure that you don't, you don't forget about it and you want to take advantage of our homestead um, exemptions and our homestead laws here in Florida. Um, also, maybe you're a new buyer in Florida, but you're from out of state. Um, you don't know about our exemptions that we offer. You may be a disabled vet and they don't have them in some states that are that exemption in some states. So you're coming to Florida and if you have a letter that says you're 60% disabled from the vet or from the VA, you could be eligible for up to 60% exemption of your taxes here in Florida. Um, it depends what type of injury it is and disability it is, but they're there. Um, I just had a customer or a friend of a friend actually that moved here from Arizona. He's 100% disabled. Mm. He didn't know we had this exemption. Mm. His first year he went ahead and paid taxes. We finally talked about it. Now he's 100% exempt from his property taxes here in Florida. Wonderful. So it's a huge education process. Um, now let's say you have buyers that are buying from, you know, they have homes in Florida. They're selling maybe in Fort Myers and moving up here. They didn't know what portability was. Now it, now it starts to educate them and look for everything as if they were one of the sellers in the transactions. Okay. We look to see what portability might be on that house in Fort Myers. Um, our system is very intricate and uh, it's, um, you know, it can find a lot of things. Sometimes we don't even know. It finds things that we didn't even understand. Right. Right. So it's, um, it's, it's huge. It's, it's, um, what is it? 150,000 sets of, uh, encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah. So the data point in it is basically the equivalent of 150,000 sets of encyclopedia Britannica all wrapped into our software. That's some data. Yep. Yeah. We have, we have every property bought and sold in the state of Florida since 2007. Okay. Wow. Well, I, um, I can attest that uh, it is easy to do. Uh, I mm -hmm. went in and through that, you know, you had your website up, maybe go back to your website. There you go. I went through that analysis process and did receive my PDF of my analysis, the next steps. Um, I unfortunately uh, waited too long and I'm a victim of, of probably missing out on just about $300 of mm -hmm. uh, savings that I could have. So it's not uh, life changing money, but it still is, something that would have been nice to be able to to change yeah. um, so now i want to make sure that i'm i'm helping others out so we learned a little bit of that so buyers basically you want to um you know if you're how about if you are a um you know you don't own a homestead property today um you're a first-time buyer or something like that is there something that your company can help those people out with well pure education right okay. So you get the same benefit as everyone else. You can call our counselor. Our counselor can walk you through everything and really explain what you're going to be looking for, how you need to um, uh, be, um, you know, filing for this exemption, timelines, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we give you all the forms you'll need. Um, a lot of, some counties allow you to do it over, you know, email and online now. So, really? okay. Yeah. Um, you know, we save you the time sometimes of having to go down and wait, but mainly it's the education of it all. Um, you're going to get a plethora of knowledge um, that you might not have ever gotten about our homestead laws. Most people that call in and talk to our counselors leave the, the conversation with, um, 
more than anything, like, oh my gosh, I just never knew how much there was to it. Like, thank you so much for taking your time. And I'm not, he's not going to kick you off the phone in five minutes. That's not what these phone calls are about. You're probably going to, it's probably going to be about 30 to 45 minutes on the phone with him. So prepare your day and, and, and you're going to get a lot of knowledge. All right. That's me. I'm going to, I'm going to get that done. That's for sure. I've got my little (laughs) authorization code that I'm going to use when I call in and just see what I can, what you guys can help me find as a, uh, a homeowner. So, um, yeah, those were all the questions I had, but Adam, what have I missed? Is there anything else that you want to tell people about related to Florida homestead check and and anything else you want to show us on your website? Yeah. So, Mainly, basically what I'd like to, so this, our website is set up for homeowners and professionals. Professionals may be anybody in our real estate uh, network, Um, be a title agent, maybe a realtor, might be a lender, somebody that is um, up to date with the verbiage that we may use. Um, So we have that section is for professionals. Uh, You can go ahead and uh, you can see homestead articles. Uh, homestead law library, homestead exemptions, what realtors need to know. You can buy gift cards for your uh, customers. Uh, We have the uh, smart escrow report, which is great because that's, um, if you know in real estate, everyone kind of gets a mortgage payment and the next year, everything, there's like a little bit of a hiccup and your mortgage payment will raise. Our smart escrow system actually figures it all out to where you won't have a hiccup year. So that's a great little program for you to go through and check it out. Um, The homeowners, it's kind of like more, more of a Disneyland, more easy to understand, more, um, we don't want to bore you with a lot of, <laughs> you know, long drawn out um, blogs and whatnot. This is more right to your face. This is what you need to know. This mm-hmm. is what, so um, if anyone ever just wants to go on our website and look around, you're free to do so. You don't have to sign up to be in it or look at it. You just kind of do what you'd like with it. Um, other thing I guess that I, I would definitely want people to know is if you're a realtor, you can sign up here as a, uh, in the Realtor Assistance Center. And you've done that, I think, with your whole office now. Right. And, um, and what that's going to allow you to do as a realtor is, is to uh, create $50 coupons for your customers. Uh, they can have one per customer, but it's a never-ending supply to you as a realtor. So if you have 100 customers, you can do 100 coupons. Um, and then also you can get gift cards you can send to your customers and uh, different, you can, if you're on the Realtor Assistance Center as a realtor, you can call our counselor at any time with any questions you may have. So it's good for that too. Um, the other big thing I think that I like to tell everyone, especially coming upon storm season right now, um, is we have an exemption in our, in, uh, our, in our, uh, tax rules basically it's it's the named storm exemption is that the exact name for it there yep so and basically what that is is um if you if your home is damaged by a storm before you get it fixed you want to call your your uh, property appraiser or your property or yeah your property appraiser out there to reassess your home okay so they're going to reassess your home at the damaged value and then you can do up to 110 percent of improvements on that without them reassessing it. So if they assess your home at 300,000, you can do up to $330,000 in improvements and they cannot reassess your home. So wow. that, that's a huge help to um, homeowners that may be affected by these hurricanes and storms. And uh, you can do one home per name storm. So. I think that's a big one for our customers to, to know about. Now, does that home, and I love that. Thank you for, for bringing yep. that up. Um, does that home have to be the one that you are homesteading currently? Yes. Sorry. Okay. I, I, yes. That has to be your homesteaded property. Okay. It can be an investment property. Okay. So, um, but again, you know, I, I've saw, I, I live in St. Augustine. So I've seen so many customers down in Davis Shores, right. just their homes demolished you know, during um, Matthew. And, um, and so we didn't know this, you know, when we, when we created this company, actually, we found out about this, our system caught it. And we thought that it was a hiccup in our system. Like, There's no way that this is actually true. And uh, luckily enough, through our chief technical officer and everybody else, we figured out, yes, this is actually an exemption. And uh, so, like I said, our system's a little, <laughs> a little smarter than, <laughs> than we like right. it to be. 
sometimes, but it helps us out. So amazing. Amazing. Yeah. That's a that's a great value. All right. So you've shown us uh your your website, which everybody it's yep. uh, Florida Homestead Check dot com. You could see that's it right. there. And uh it's got a lot of information for uh homeowners, especially and especially people who are looking to sell their home mm -hmm. anytime in twenty twenty or even twenty twenty one. This is a yeah. great website to go to. Yeah, you want to I mean if you're at home right now. And here's another thing too. I mean, you may be at home that you just bought, you bought your house this year and maybe you sold a house last year and, and you know, you came from Palm beach County and you didn't know what portability was. You may have portability still sitting there. Mm -hmm. So if you've sold your home anytime since 2000, really since 2007, I'll be honest with you, 2007 to 2010, there probably wasn't a lot of value because of where our market was. Yep. Anytime from 2010 till now, you bought you bought the home you're currently in and you had sold another one in Florida, you may want to do a homestead check because there could be portability sitting there for you that you didn't know about. Right. Um, there's a lot of other really, really cool exemptions. Um, you know, some municipalities don't, um, don't acknowledge it, but most do. We have something called a super senior exemption. Um, how many of the homeowners do you think that in Florida that are over 65? They've lived in their house for more than 25 years. It's valued less than 250, and they make less than 30,000 a year. They're 100% exempt from property taxes. Yep. So there's a huge, like, use for these exemptions for everybody. Not only if you're selling or buying a home, but also if you're just sitting at home. Mm -hmm. So, Love it. Love it. so the, I think yeah. um, that's yeah. important. Uh, so it was, uh, so some of the pricing, I, you know, we have to be honest, yeah. The, yeah, not everything's free, but the, the expense to go through uh, this check is $175. But when you work with a realtor, like Stage to Sell Realty, we'll get you a $50 coupon. So it makes it $125 exactly. yep. uh, to go through. And uh, I mean, it paid for itself for me. If I go yep. through the process, I, on a minimal level, could save $300. So I've I've made $175 just yep. by going through this. But as you can yep. see, you could save thousands. And you save thousands. Working. On average, we save about, um, so 50% of the, the homeowners we work with, we, we on average save them about uh, $2,000 a year on property taxes. Um, what we've come to find out through our research is 70% of homeowners don't even know what portability is. 30% of homeowners haven't even filed for their basic homestead exemption. Um, so I think there's a lot of, uh, like I said, I think there's a lot of maybe stuff that's thrown to the wayside. They don't think is that big of a deal, but it absolutely can save you a lot of money every single year. And we're not talking about a one-time savings, you know, that $300, if you could still save it, you'd save it every single year. So in a 10 year, in 10 years, it's $3,000. If you, if you're saving $2,000 a year in 10 years, that's $20,000 in savings. Good so, point. you know, it's, um, it's important to think about that. Um, I think that uh, also um, we just, you know, you want to kind of maybe pay attention to uh, your, ta your trim notices a little bit more as well if you're a homeowner. Trim notices just came out. A lot of people don't know. Sometimes they attach a letter in there that says, we got word that you may have moved from this property. If this is, if this is correct, don't do anything. If this is incorrect, we want you to sign this and send it back to us. Well, if you don't sign that and send it back, your homestead exemption drops off mm. and people don't realize that. Right. So, um, and sometimes you realize it too late. We've had situations where, you know, you've had a homestead for 10 years and you, you maybe got this letter two years ago and you didn't do anything with it, and your homestead exemption has dropped off. Well, now all the port portability you had accrued is gone because you have to use it in a certain amount of time. And since it's been two years since you noticed your homestead exemption dropped off, you've now lost all that. Right, right. So I wish, I hope customers pay attention a little bit more to the trim notice. I'm guilty of this. I finance. So usually if you finance, you're like, eh, it's gonna come out of escrow. Who cares? You, you don't really think about it, but it's something that we definitely need to pay more attention to. Thank you for that. Thank you. That, that's great. Yeah.
Well, again, um, the stage to sell realty, I'm with Adam Lynn from Florida Homestead Check. And yep. uh, we just went through portability exemptions, uh, so much stuff, but we can give you some more information. If you reach out to any of the realtors with stage to sell realty, we can get you a coupon to go through this check. Um, go to floridahomesteadcheck.com and learn more. But Adam, I really appreciate your time. Yep. No uh, problem. And, I appreciate uh, you having me. Yeah, look forward to going through it again. Best of luck to you guys. Uh, For sure. Um, if you have, if you want to put my contact information anywhere, anyone is more more than welcome to reach out to me. Go uh, ahead. What is it? Uh, so it's you know it's Adam Lynn L Y N N. Uh, my phone number is nine zero four six six nine six eight six zero. My email is uh, at a Lynn at floridahomesteadcheck dot com. You can reach me anytime, and um, I please encourage anybody to call me. If you and your realtors have any questions with, if your sellers have any questions and you need to reach out to me, please don't hesitate. Um, you know, we're here, we want to help again. That's our main focus is help people as much as possible. And we can't do that without everyone else else's help, you know, and, and that's our main goal. Wonderful. Thank you very much on that note. Everyone yep. have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us. And until next time at Stage of Sale Realty. Sure. Talk One more soon. thing. Sorry, oh, Kevin. Yeah, sure, Adam. Yeah, absolutely. So if you have any realtors on here, we're going to put together a little presentation on Wednesday morning. Oh, at thanks. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, if you'd like an invitation, you can reach out to me via email and I'll, and I'll send you a link to, um, to uh, get in on it. And uh, again, we're going to do that at Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. And it'll be in depth, mainly for realtors. There's probably going to be a lot of information. Homeowners are more than welcome to jump on there, but it could be confusing. But um, they definitely... Uh, you know, we're going to, like I said, we're, our main focus is to get this out there as much as possible. And if you hear anybody on the radio or TV, a guy named Dan Marino, I don't know if you guys know who that guy is, but uh, he's, <laughs> he's a pretty good quarterback, or he was, and uh, he's, he's our spokesman for our company. So uh, you might hear him on there talking about it and, uh, and just uh, keep an eye out for it. We will. We will. Awesome. All right. Thanks again. You have a great Thanks day. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Talk it. Talk to you all soon.